Hi everyone, Corey Foy with Flight Tactics here, and I'm excited to walk through our V10 App Store release of the iOS Tac Tracker. Uh, I want to show you kind of some of the initial functionality of the application. So you can see here on startup, the first time you use it, we're going to walk you through an onboarding uh, setup. So the first thing we're going to do is have you request your permissions. So initially, um, while it's in use, as well as always allow if you want to be able to track even when the app is in the background and not running. Um, the second thing that we're going to do is set up our standard user information. So an auto-generated call sign. We can choose our team. We can also choose our role as part of this. Um, you can edit the call sign here if you'd like. Uh, now we present two options for being able to connect to a server. Um, the first is going to be our certificate enrollment. So you can see we're going through our standard certificate enrollment uh, workflow here, setting the address, the port, username, and the password. Um, one of the things that we uh, do not require right now is an intermediate certificate. Um, that will be coming in uh, probably the version 1.1 release as part of this. Um, but by entering this information and clicking begin, we're going to do a full certificate enrollment against our server. And that would allow us to stay connected. We, of course, have our standard data package as well. Um, this accepts both ITAC and ATAC uh, configuration packages, and that'll connect us right to the server. Uh, and with that, that is the extent of our onboarding. So it, it's pretty straightforward, the, the goal to get everybody up and running pretty quickly with here. Um, this immediately puts you into the interface that should look very familiar to the Android TAC Tracker, and it's designed to uh, look that way to minimize any amount of training um, uh, kind of challenges. So you can see here we can change the different elements uh, from DMS to decimal, to, uh, true north to magnetic north. Um, we will be supporting MGRS in a future release, but we don't support that yet. Um, you can also change some of the settings if you needed to. So we can set our call sign and team and role, um, upload our data packages, but we can also enable this advanced mode. And um, in addition to setting some, some basic stuff like broadcast intervals and stale times, if we keep those in there, um, we can also set this map type. And what this enables on the screen now is uh, one of several different map types that are available uh, in TAC Tracker. Um, this is the flyover maps. You can actually pan it around. Um, and if uh, we were on a real device, you could do a 3D view as well of this. Um, by simply tapping on the map, it resets you to track your location as part of it. Um, we also have in this release the ability to do the emergency beacon. Um, this looks very familiar again with the Android TAC Tracker. Um, so we've got our alert types. We can activate our different alerts. By turning that on, um, that's going to broadcast that alert as well as show that the alert is active within the user interface itself. Um, if we turn that uh, alert off by clicking into there, uh, canceling the alert and turning those on, we will see um, over in WebTAC that the alert was removed um, uh, from from WebTAC as part of there. So, um, so all in all, super excited about this release. Um, some of the things that are going to be upcoming, uh, again, the MGRS support for the location, as well as TAC Chat is the remaining big feature still yet to add in. And um, those will all be coming with version 1.1. So um, in the meantime, if you have questions, we're definitely uh, lo would love to hear from you. Um, you can go to flighttactics.com slash tech and get all the information as well as our contact um, and get the link to the GitHub repository where you can list any issues that you may have. So uh, thanks so much. Thanks so much to the community. And we're excited to have you try this out.